Beat. Yo, this is Stash G from Houston. Shout out to Easy and PCP Radio. You are now listening to Loud Music 2. What's up, everybody? My name is Nina Nicole. For those who don't know me, um, I am one half of PCP Radio, um, founder of Pink Cocaine. Make sure you go to pinkcocaineboutique.com to get you some new items. We got some crazy, sexy clothes on that site, so go check that out. We got some great sales going on for Valentine's Day also. Um, so go check that out, ladies. Um, also, if you want to listen to PCP Radio, make sure you go check that out on Pure cocainepro.com um, no Ebonics spells exactly how that is I'll put that down in the screen somewhere so you can see it down there somewhere <laughs> okay so um, anyways so yeah so those who don't know me I am a radio host out of Cleveland Ohio we um, interview a lot of the best battlers in the leagues that are all over the world um, not any in particular um, if you're hot if I hear your name enough you know then we reach out and um we've had just about everybody on there um so go ahead and check that out so i know a little bit of something something about i'm talking about um and be watching out for pinko king sundays coming soon we're dedicating that to the ladies and um of course we'll have you know female rappers female battlers female entrepreneurs of that sort that's coming real soon so anyways let me get right into this um, shouts out to Boss Chick Rain. Shouts out to Boss Chick Battle League. Um, you know what I'm saying? I see y'all doing y'all thing. And this is how we're going to do this. So, um, basically, you know, I was tagged to do this little blog. First, we're going to talk about Bonnie versus My verse. Um, first off, I think it was a dope battle. Um, it was definitely more than what I expected from the battle. Um, I feel like My verse is... Uh, fr a breath of fresh air right now like I'm so happy to see her um, doing the battle rap thing she is like different she brings a different delivery or a different style to the scene of female battle rap and I think she's really dope um, as far as the battle goes I want to say I'm, I, I'm honestly undecided with this one I don't want to be generic with the shit but I really undecided but um, I kind of edged Bonnie 2-1. I was thinking that I was going to give Bonnie the first round. And um, possibly the second round. But then I had watched it back last night. That's why I didn't do this last night. Because I had to watch it back and just like gather some more. You know, grasp it more. And when I watched it last night, I wanted to give it to my verse 2-1. Because that first round was highly debatable to me. And um, I definitely gave my verse the third round. Now that second round was iffy. Um, but I definitely gave that to Bonnie. So, you know what? I don't know. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm honestly undecided with that one. It all comes down to that first round. So, I think I'm going to watch that back a couple of times. But um, some of the key things that I liked about that battle. Um, Bonnie's Johnny Rockets you and I verse. Uh, bar that shit was hot to me like I like that wordplay um this was the best body that I've seen um I'm really not a Bonnie Godiva fan I mean I, I, I'm not gonna say I'm not I'm, I'm not a fan like she's not one of my favorites um but she's definitely dope so don't you know throw the shade and all the stupid shit like whatever um she's definitely dope she's just not one of my like top five favorites but um this was the best that I seen from her she definitely impressed me this battle so um shout out to Bonnie for that um, and her freestyle was on point. Like, she had those rebuttals locked down. Like, her shit was on point. So, I'm definitely rocking with her because of that. Um, as far as my verse goes, both of their rebuttals were on point. Like, that shit, what she said. <laughs> I know you 
fuck the uh, three battle rappers or whatever the fuck. And then she was like, no, there he goes right there. Like, I almost died when she did that shit. Like, facts. Like, I was cracking the fuck up. So, anyways, that was dope to me. Um, the Puka Diva in the box, that's Valentine's Day. That shit was hot. Like, that was just some creative shit. You know what I'm saying? My verse, she's different, man. I like that about her. I'm ready to see more of her. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm ready for her to perfect her craft even a little bit more. Like, I feel like she's dope, but sometimes she kind of loses me with all the extra scientific whatever the f you know what i'm saying like i know y'all know y'all know what i'm talking about like the extra smart shit like <laughs> don't get me wrong i get it but it's kind of goes left field like sometimes it doesn't really match what you know the battle is all about so whatever but i love my verse and like i think when she um perfects that and you know make make it all match make it all relevant to the actual battle i think she's going to be like a fucking problem seriously um and why the fuck are Smacks around so long? Like, seriously, like, how fucking long was this battle? This battle was like an hour long, like, only on URL. Only on URL you'll find 20 minute fucking rounds. But anyways, at the end of the day, I think the battle was dope. So, shouts out to URL, shouts out to Quittering, shouts out to Devo, you know what I'm saying? Like, shouts out to everybody that, you know, made it a part. It was one, definitely one of the best, I would say, top 10 female battles that we had dropped for 2000, well... I dropped in 2016, but you know what I mean. That happened in 2015. So, shouts out to that. Excuse me. <laughs> so, anyways, the next one I'm going to talk about is um, Unique vs. Cashflow Rizzy. Now, this one was a dope battle, too, uh, on Spit That Heat. Shouts out to Unique Fatal, man. She's fucking dope. Like, she's really dope. So, shouts out to her. Um, I gave it to one Unique. I gave Unique the first two rounds, and I gave um, Rizzy the third round. Because I think, like, Unique's third round was, like, kind of short. I don't know, but it was, like, um, I gave her that one. But it was definitely a dope battle. Um, let me just say this. Side note. Milltown Blow has to be stopped. Like, this nigga is fried, dude. Like, I gotta put a clip of that shit. Like, when Unique said that, um, um, optimistic bar or whatever the fuck it was. Like, that shit was hot, definitely. But this nigga Milltown's blowing action. I ain't almost crying. Bitch, watch your back. Bitch, watch your body language. I mean, unless you trying to risk it. Because this clip ain't half empty. It's half full, bitch. I'm optimistic. <laughs> funniest shit I had seen all day but um I'm definitely rocking with that unique had another bar that really stood out to me it was the um when I get to squeezing at your chest I ain't trying to arouse you or something to that effect that shit was fire like I had to type that out and put it on my book like I was like yes you know unique got it so I'm definitely ready to see more of her I'm ready to see her in the ring and that's all I got for you guys um, make sure you check out my homies Cheddar's Battle if you're in New York on um, the week of the 17th or the week of the 23rd. Make sure you check her out. She'll be battling a girl named Jay and she'll be battling Frank White. And she's going to 2-1 or 3-0 the both of them. And um, that's about it. You know, Follow me on Instagram at Pink Cocaine Nina. Make sure you check out Pink cocaineboutique.com teamtweezy.com for the latest hottest music that you will ever find for this year and purecocainepro.com for the latest battles latest singles music entrepreneurs etc like we do it all so I'll be seeing you guys real soon Bye. Bang camp. yo this is Stash G from Houston shout out to Tweezy and PCP Radio you are now listening to Loud Music 2 Ain't got nothing for me, bitches from out 
in they face Every time they see me coming I would say that it's hate But they envious, 